TNTM The Show presents... August Talking Nerdy. With your host, Pablo Gunner. The Ambassador. I'm Marvin Goof, baby. And we are here to talk nerdy to you about all the nerdy stuff, or as much of the nerdy stuff that we could cover as possible for the month of August. So we're going to be covering Tales of the Team NT, and then we're going to do some shout-outs, talk about the merch, and uh, talk about what our charity of the month is going to be for September. Let's move on to Tales of the TMNT. Did you guys watch that? I watched that. Okay, cool. Yeah, it was a, it was an interesting way to do it where it's loosely based on what happened. Because basically what it is is really just a bunch of compilations of stories where uh, it's all written by Leo. And he's just kind of over-exaggerating things a lot. Interesting. And most of the stories were solid. The last one I felt was weaker than the other ones, but they were they were all like pretty good stories. I feel it's just because it really wasn't aimed for me. It it's really aimed for more kids, but it's not like most kids content where you're completely bored and want to get it off, so <laughs> <laughs> There's hardly a home without the Enigma Tech Box. Yeah, if you got kids, it's definitely worth checking out. But if you're an adult, you, you know, I don't think it would hurt to pass it because it's not going to, there's not really going to be much difference go, if they when they make the sequel, if you've watched this or not. You're mm. still going to be able to watch the movie just fine. Feels it's worth checking out if you got kids, but if you don't have kids, I don't think it's worth checking out. Okay. I mean, I love TMNT, so all T all TMNT except for Rise. I I hated Rise, but the Rise movie, I liked the Rise movie mm. uh, because it actually had a lot of like it was good character growth and development and stuff and uh, interesting story. But anyways, this one, yeah, it is it is very different because the the neutrals aren't together that often, right? Mm. Like they break them apart a lot in this, and it's a very weird thing that they did, and it it was it was. It's they they made it work. They they made it work. It made sense yeah. in the writing, right? Like it, it worked, and you go, okay, cool. And they're utilizing all the side characters and stuff, and and adding some more, and that was cool. And the voice acting was solid. It was weird because I felt like I I I literally have watched this show at least four times, but I haven't paid that attention to it except for one time where I was like. I have to actually pay attention to this and sit down so I can actually do my review justice because I did my own review. That that was that. But you don't, so you don't have to really pay attention. Like you said, you could be a parent and just put it on for the kids because the kids love it and they don't mind rewatching and rewatch. Kids love rewatching stuff, especially if they like it. <laughs> the action was not bad, especially like towards the end, like the finality. The finale was really top notch. Like that yeah. action was top notch. Like the story was like kind of like eh, okay. Yeah, I, I was most the most disappointed, and, and not hugely because this is my own fault, but I thought it was going to be them in school, right? Like, I thought it was going to focus on them being in school, and then just, like, them dealing with what it it's like to, to be in, in right, a little bit, right? Because, basically, they're at school, and it's like, hey, you going to the party? And then it's all about going to the party and other things that happen that they have to do as well going to said party, but then after that, you see no more school. Right, which makes sense, right? It's kind of like the whole hero's thing, which is like, hey, I want to go to school, and I want to do this, and I want to go to the party, but I need to stop these robots, or I need to stop these bad guys, right? Like, which is very, like, kind of Spider-Man-esque, you know? So, yeah. I, I, for me, I still give it a must-see, must-stream, because I love TMNT, and my kids absolutely love it, so yeah, for kids too. So that's... That's for me. Kira talking to me, our grade scale is must see, must stream, unless it's something that you can buy, of course, and then uh, check it out or worth checking out, and then pass. So for shout outs, we have uh, MK Wizard. She is now at the top of that list every time because she's phenomenal. You've seen some of the videos. You may or may not have seen some of the videos I've done with her, and they're great. We have this great conversation back and forth. So definitely check out all of her stuff because it's great. Uh, Film Rage, those guys are hilarious. They cover movies, so if you like, if you're a hardcore movie person, definitely listen to them because they cover stuff ASAP, and they'll keep you on on 
the No, and then they're hilarious. Uh, Pesky Gremlins, they they do web comics like MK Wizard, so that, check that out. Uh, watch it if you can. Podcasts, they're awesome. Amerime Media, they're really cool as well. Um, and then uh, for merch. But Yogurt, what is this place? What is it that you do here? Merchandising. Merchandising? What's that? Merchandising. Come, I'll show you. Open up this door. <laughs> <laughs> Come, walk this way, take a look. We put the picture's name on everything. For the new month, for September, it's going to be Lord of the Rings. It's mainly going to be focused because everybody loves the books and the movies, so it's mainly going to be focused on that, but we are going to have some Rings of Power merch as well, so keep an eye out for that. It's going to be coming out, and we're going to be uh, leaving our Batman stuff. Maybe come up with some more, I don't know. And, um, mm -hmm. of course, we're sporting our merch now. Here it is right there. We have... <laughs> this, uh, this hat as well. Is a little oh, yeah, the Pokemon hat. Pretty much the Ash Ketchum Togner to me hat. And uh, our magic, the Lovely right? Magic the Gathering shirt. This one's my favorite, actually. MTG. <laughs> the good MTG. The good MTG. Yeah. So, an ambassador? Yeah, my Ninja Turtles Togner to me shirt. Yes. And, uh, and I got one, too. Mine's blue tank top right here. And I got the shorts... To go with it, uh, I want the headband and the socks. And so, if you buy any merch from us, uh, it helps us greatly. I mean, we really don't make a lot of money off the merch, but 5% of any profit that we go to, we have a different charity for the month. And so, for the new month, it's going to be AFSP, which is American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, as it is, as it is Suicide Prevention Month. Uh, there's also Hispanic Heritage Month uh, is halfway through the month. That's why I'm not going to do the whole month, but we're going to roll out some merch for that as we have some Azul Beetle and probably some Miles Morales. We'll probably roll that out too, yeah. you know, and then any other characters that we can think of that we, that we love, we're, we're inspired by and everything like that. That's it, unless you guys have anything else. Look out for a review of the new 5th edition Player's Handbook. Awesome. That's coming out in a few weeks. I'll hopefully turn that out here in a bit. Cool. Talk nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, Flat Earth. Keep it nerdy, y'all. <laughs>